Division using rounding to estimate quotients. So you've got this division problem with two other brackets that you need to fill in. What you're going to do is first round this number to one digit accuracy. So there's one non-zero digit in it. So we're, in that case, we're rounding the tens place. So we're going to round that to 40. And then since I rounded this to the tens place, I'm also going to round this number to the tens place. Whatever you round this outside number, the divisor to, you always round the dividend to. That's where some of you are messing up. You're rounding this to the tens place and that to the hundreds place. You can't do that. You have to round them both to the same place. So this 2,357 rounds to 2,360, okay, because we're rounding to the tens place there. And then we're going to drop a zero in each one. So we just cross out that zero and that zero. And we're going to make this 4 into 236 Point zero. I'm putting a point zero on there so that I get a decimal answer so I can then round my answer, which I normally don't do when I estimate, but for these I'm going to do that, okay? So 4 goes into 23. How many times? 4 times 5 is 20. That's a remainder of 3. 4 goes into 36 9 times. 9 times 4 is 36. And so we have no remainder, no leftover there, and my estimate is 59. If I would have had an answer like 59.6, I would write 60 over here instead. All right, let's do this next one. We're rounding this all the way to the left. That means that rounds to 400. And since I'm rounding to the hundreds place here, I round to the hundreds place here. So that would be 1,600. And then I can drop two zeros off of each one here. So this becomes 4 into 16.0. And 4 goes into 16 four times. So my estimate is 4.